Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your 3D printer all the electronics connections correctly. So guys, here you can see that I have MKS Gen LV 1.0 board. So this board is produced by the maker base company here you can see and this is very easy to connect all the connections correctly. First you need to understand that all the color codings of this board. So I'm telling you that from the very basics that what is color coding means. So guys listen me carefully. First here you can see this orange color. In this complete board this orange color you can see that at this point at this point and at this point and here you can see the blue color this is here you can see at this point this point and this point here you can see the black color this is here at this point and at this point so black color is only at two points and here it comes to the purple color that is at this point and at this point here you can see that this is for the purple color pot so this is the basics of your electronics board so if you want to connect it so simply understand that here there is mentioned that orange color port is for x axis blue color is port is for y axis and green color port is for z axis and the black color port is for student number one and the purple color port is for student number 2 so don't get confused with the annotations it is written there as E0 E1 this means that student 1 and student 2 so first connections that is for the x axis motor so uh, if you are using a 3d printer you know that it comes with the stepper motor NEMA uh, 17 stepper motor so uh, this is my stepper motor here you can see and uh, there is a wire comes with this stepper motor uh, you have to connect the one side of the wire to the stepper motor here i have connected one side of the wire to the, my stepper motor and the other side of this wire and the other side of this wire will go to your electronics that is at the uh, this orange port that is for the x axis uh, similarly for the y axis uh, this is uh, this port is for the blue port is for the y axis motor connection so i have connected here the y axis stepper motor connection and the third is for the z axis stepper motor connection so i have connected my z axis stepper motor this is my z axis stepper motor connections i have connected to this green port and uh, fourth is for extruder number 1 uh, that is the single extruder printer i am using and uh, that I had motor used for uh, this uh, extruder is this this one you can see and the other side of this wire is going to this port that is for the black port E0 so you have to connect uh, your extruder motor connection to this black port so this uh, four was for all four motors that are in your 3d printer next come is the end stocks so here you can see that as I had told you that orange color is for x axis so so if you are putting a if you had put your in the stop in the x axis so uh, you have to put your other side of the x axis in the stop connection to this port that is for the or here you can see that is for the orange port and the second is for blue blue is for y axis i told you so y axis in the stop connection will come to this port that is for the y axis in the stop port and third connection is for the z axis that is green i told you so green x green axis in the stop uh, connection will come to this green port that is for z axis so i had connected total uh, two parts i had showed you how to connect two parts that is the motors and this first is the first is the motor and the second was the in stops so this was three in stops and this was this was four stepper motors so next come is the part that get heated so there are two parts in the printer that get heated one is the uh, hotting that is the extruder that got heated and the other is the heated bed that got heated so guys first you remember that there are two parts in your 3d printer that got heated one is one is your extruder and the other is your heat bed so the parts that get heated has a sensor uh, that is inside it and here you can see this is my hotting and uh, there are two wires coming from this uh, hotting here one for the sensor and one to 
control this hotting so here you can see that these are the two wires one to power this uh, uh, hotting and the second is for the sensor so uh, and similarly for this bed here you can see that uh, this is my heated weight and there is complete set of wires coming from this uh, to uh, uh, this includes a sensor wire and a power supply so uh, where you have to connect these two hot tent, uh, these two parts that got heated so guys uh, see carefully so guys here you can see that these are the two points where you have to connect your hot end parts so this is the sensor wire connection that is coming from the hot end so i already told you that black color is for extruder motor and the extruder things so these are the this spot is of black color here you can see uh, so here you can see that this is black color so this is for extruder so that the sensor wire that is coming from the extruder so here you can see that this wire that is coming from your hot end that is extruder will go to this point that is for the black pot here you can see this is this one is black pot so here you can see this one is black pot the sensor that is coming out from your extruder will come to uh, this you have to connect to this pot second term is the hot bed so as i told you that as i told you that heated bed uh, there are two types of connection one is for sensor and another is power supply so for the sensor wire these are the two yellow wires you can see that for the sensor these are the two yellow wires that is coming from your heated bed you have, you have to connect to this point just below the your extruder extruder sensor connection and uh, at this at bottom of this here you can see this is in the purple color and i have already told you that if you are using second extruder then uh, you have to connect your extruder motor here, here and your sensor wires here so uh, purple is for extruder and uh, black is for extruder number 1 purple is for extruder number 2 and white is for heat bed so i connected the heat bed sensor wire at the, uh, as i told you that extruder has one sensor wire and one other, another has power supply so the power supply wires will go to this point here you can see uh, it is written here that he01 so here you can see that he0 and he1 so there are two power supply connections here you can see one is for uh, extruder number 1 and one is for extruder number 2 so you have to connect two wires that is coming over that is coming from there uh, these two wires these two red wires you have to connect at this point he0 terminals plus and minus you can connect either uh, to plus and either to minus it doesn't matter uh, so connect the two wires red two red wires to this point that is that he0 and next come is for heated bed here you can see that uh, there is written that this this port is for heated bed so the power supply uh, that is uh, going to this heated bed is connected to this point so uh, i had already told you that sensor is connected ever at this point this yellow wires and the power supply for heat bed goes to these two ports plus and minus and just next to the heated bed here you can see that plus minus plus 12 slash 24 volt so this is your main power supply wire that will come to this board so this is the main power supply wire uh, so you have to connect uh, your power supply connections that you can see the most thickest th thick wires Uh, that is the plus and minus red and black wires that is uh, coming from here red and black wire that is coming from here will go to this power supply connection that is here you can see plus and minus so here you can see plus and minus so i connected to this port and the next come to uh, just at the top of your electronics here you can see these two ports this is, this is for your lcd connections so here you can see this wires is for my i connected to my lcd so this was this was the connections that i had made and the last thing that come come is the fan connections so there are two fans you got with your stock printer one is for heat sink this is the first fan and the second is second fan is for uh, to cool your motherboard this is the second fan so both the fan connections will go to your power supply directly so this fans will run directly so here you can see that 
told you that there are two fans in your 3D printer with a, with your stock 3D printer. That is one for the extruder and other is for uh, to cool your motherboard. So here you can see these are the wires. These are these thin wires are for the uh, cooling fans. So I connected to it in the DC DC output plus as plus and minus. You can connect. So guys, I had told you all the points of your electronics where to connect correctly. So last thing that I had not told you is that I had added an additional fan to cool my prints. So uh, this is my fan duct and, and I, am, I had connected a fan uh, for this fan duct and these are the connections. So where to connect this fan connection. So this is the last connection that I am going to show you. So this fan connection you have to connect at this point. That this fan connection you have to connect at this point here you can see there is written that fan fan port so you have to connect your additional fan port to this point so i connected my this layer cooling fan that is for the fan duct i connected this uh, fan duct wires that is going from that is coming from uh, this this way to here you can see to this point that is at the fan duct point so this was this was the complete connection of your uh, NKSML V1.0 board for the table trend tool. So guys, please comment or tell me if you have any confusion in con connecting your motherboard so I can help you in this. Thanks for watching. Thank you.